Hey guys, welcome to Pellets and Pits. Hey, today is our Memorial Day special. We switched gears. We're gonna give you three fantastic recipes. We have a smoked Mexican street corn cheese ball. We got your traditional uh, jelly and barbecue sauce smoked meatballs. And of course, you gotta have your pigs in a blanket. You guys wanna see how we knocked it out of the park? Woo! Here we go. Before we get started, I just wanna reach out and say what Memorial Day is all about. So cheers to each and every one of you. As a veteran, it's uh, something near and dear to my heart. Uh, we have fallen comrades ourselves, sailors. Uh, I've known people, and it, it's a hard time for us. So for all the people out there, especially the Gold Stars, the other people that had family members that have given the ultimate sacrifice for more Memorial Day, cheers to you guys. Do not want the holiday to go by without mentioning what it's really about. It's really about the people who have gone above and beyond to give the ultimate sacrifice. And I just cannot be more proud as a veteran for holidays like this. So let's just remember that. Cheers to the Pelta Pits first Memorial Day. Try not to get emotional. As that is said, let's start our video. First things first, this is the idea. It's crazy we're at the grocery store and we just came up with it. What we wanted to do was kind of give you like some cool ideas for appetizers for the weekend. Uh, the first thing is going, we're going to start with a smoked Mexican street corn uh, cheese ball. It's going to be a lot of twists in it, but you'll get the idea. The second one's kind of like my twist on the classic meatballs with jelly. And then the third one is going to be adult pids in the blanket. We kind of do our twist on it. It's kind of fun. You can do many different varieties. I'm super excited. I think we're going to nail it. All right, first things first, let me show you what we got. Cotilla cheese, we got a lime, we got some green onions, we got some cheese that we're gonna smoke, got some cilantro, some corn that we're gonna char up, cook some bacon, some crispy jalapenos, some regular jalapenos, it's a tahini seasoning, okay? First things first, we are going to light a pellet smoke tube up. We're gonna use the Lone Star, it seems kind of odd, but the reason why I'm using this is because the Lone Star actually has a cold smoke feature. Not all pellet smokers have that, you guys can definitely look at the manual, uh, go over it. It's very simple to do. It's actually pretty cool to do, but I'm just gonna do this uh, kind of like generic because I feel like since most people, most people don't have it, then this is the option for them. So we just got a pellet tube. They're widely available. Take a gun and just start our pellet tube. Yeah, just get them ignited. Keep your lid open for a few minutes. Let those uh, pellets catch fire and then we'll be able to close the lid with the cheese on it. We're gonna be using the Pit Boss today because it has that open flame feature. That's how we're gonna be roasting the uh, the grilled corn. So I'm just gonna turn it on. Let this do its thing while we're prepping our stuff. All right, our pellets are lit. I'm just gonna close the lid. Plenty of airflow through there. I'm actually gonna close the damper. You're not supposed to do this when it's on, but the cold mode even says you can. Close it just a little bit. It keeps a lot of that uh, smoke trapped in there. Got a little sheet tray right here with ice. It's already melting. It's crazy how fast it melts. It's extremely hot outside. Just throw a block of cheese down there. Block of cheese down there. Take some of that tahini seasoning, which is very common. Sprinkle that cream cheese with it really good. While that cheese is smoking, I'm just going to uh, simply deep ear the corn. What's it called? Shuck the corn. <laughs> just a little neutral oil, not a lot. Just kind of uh, help grill that corn. Put that jalapeno off to the side. I'm going to shut the flame roller off. Got some nice marks. Just raise it up top. Let that keep cooking. I'm going to drop my temperature down to uh, like 350. Keep the lid closed and then we'll be able to put the bacon on there. And this is what we got. Equal parts. I don't know really what they're called. Uh, people, a, lot of, a lot of people do like the, uh, the little weenies. So it's equal parts grape jelly, chili sauce, and barbecue sauce. And I like to get the refrigerated meatballs. You can make them from scratch if you want to, but I kind of stay away from the frozen ones. That's a personal opinion. They're a lot easier to do if you're frozen. We are going to grill these. 
to set a crust first. I just think it adds that little bit more oomph to flavor, right? Uh, use a little cue that in there as well. So simple, simple. Once that's all in there, we're just gonna give it a mix. For our meatball selection, we got the spicy and we got the regular. That's just what I picked up. Honestly, it's not gonna matter. Next, we're gonna hit a little cue that, a little barbecue seasoning. Which I guess, in theoretically, you could have done it like this. Just get them coated on all sides. Now let's see what if we know what to do. There we go. Now that makes a lot more sense. All right, the meatballs are separated. Uh, we got them on the Weber uh, sear wood. It's not gonna take long. You know, like I said, I just want that crust to set a little bit because that way when we're simmering on that sauce, they're just not gonna fall apart. It's been about an hour. I just wanted to show you like a sneak peek of what the cold smoked cheese looks like. You might not think that the smoke tube has a lot of oomph behind it. It does. It's <laughs> a lot of smoke. 15 minutes, about 350. We got all these meatballs set. We're just gonna put them in here. To that, we're just gonna dump all that barbecue sauce, cocktail sauce, and grape jelly in there. And now we're just gonna cook this until the barbecue sauce reduces a lot. It gets tacky, kind of creates its own different thickness. You'll see. That smoke's gonna to adhere to the top of it as well. We'll probably start a couple times. later you guys can actually see that we have got some nice smoke color on there so i'm just going to literally take this throw it in the refrigerator for about i'm just gonna let this keep going it's not a big deal um i'm going to let this uh refrigerate for probably an hour hour and a half to cool back down before we start grating it last but not least honestly it's a family favorite we really just go normal but we call it like adult pigs in a blanket typically to get those little weenies wrap them up and they're kind of like neutral uh, we typically stay with the Johnsonville line, but honestly, there's so many flavors out there from beer to jalapeno. I call them adult pigs in a blanket because sometimes they get spicy. Sometimes you don't know what's in them. And a lot of people don't care what's in them. You know, kids will care because they want to keep their, you know, everything separate on the plate kind of style. We don't. We'll make like three or four varieties and we'll cut them in half and then we'll put them all together. And then you just come by and pick as you go. So super easy. We're going to cook these maybe for like 10 minutes just to get the uh, ball rolling. Pellet smoker, still at 350. If you wanted a little spice, you could actually uh, take some like cooked jalapeno and uh, make strips out of them. Heck, maybe we can even do one ourselves. I don't have any cooked jalapeno, but we can, might be able to figure something out. Anyways, you can uh, put that in your um, croissant as well for like a little spiciness. And it's simple, on the smoker for 10 minutes, let them, clip, let them start cooking, and then we'll start wrapping them in uh, croissants. All right, about 30, 45 minutes. You can see that we're starting to get some nice caramelization, There's some reduction going on, which is what I was trying to explain, but my fantastic English got in the way. Just give these a quick stir and just let them keep going. We want that sauce to be nice and thick and sticky. All right, hot dogs, sausages, whatever you decide to use it as off the, uh, the grill, we're letting them cool down a little bit. I like doing it before we actually wrap them. I feel like sometimes the croissants cook a little fast and when you're doing a whole one, I don't necessarily think sometimes, not all the time, that the inside gets hot enough. I'm one of those guys. So if you just go ahead and pre-cook it a little bit, you kind of raise that temperature up. Plus you get a little bit more flavor. I am going to show you really quick with a fresh jalapeno, the idea of what I was talking about. Now you can smoke this and grill this beforehand to make it a little bit more tender. But if you get it thin enough, you might not have a problem. So we're gonna go extremely thin julienne strips. 
and just do a few, not many. Uh, one thing that's becoming extremely popular, and we've done before with a lot of success, the family will seem to like it, everything bagel season, we'll throw a couple of that on there. So, moral of the story. Alrighty, got our dough out. We're just gonna keep the triangle shape, not overthink this. I'll roll a couple, at least one, and I'll show you what we're thinking. If you didn't have cheese, you can maybe put some cheese in there, but a lot of times it just oozes out. Just like that. If you want to, like I said, top this one with a little bagel season so that way the kids know which ones have jalapenos in there. There we go. We'll get the rest of them knocked out. So the wife told me that I'm doing it wrong. Although I've made these for the last... Was I in the Navy when I made them the first time? 20 years. I'm doing them wrong. <laughs> so now we're going to make them the way she wants them. More like an appetizer. Because the way I was making them wasn't an appetizer. Although I was going to cut mine in half after they cook, she wants these to be baked before they cook. So, like all good husbands, and since wives are typically always right, <laughs> we're going to do it her way. Look how nice they look. Her way or the highway? That's what she said. <laughs> I did not. Just at the very end, I'm top it off with a little duck fat spray. You can use avocado spray, something like that. It just kind of helps with the browning, especially on a pellet smoker. Do you want uh, bagel seeds or anything else? It's up to you. And on the smoker it goes until your croissants are done. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now you got all that salt. Look at that right there. That's what I'm talking about. Doesn't take long. That sauce is reduced. Tossing those meatballs and all that reduction right there. That is fantastic. I just gotta be warning you. I'm just telling you flat out. The Joker's hot. I mean, it's hot, so you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. Last but not least, the one that I think I'm super excited about the most. I really think the flavor's gonna be packing. Here we go. So, we got the smoked pepper jack cheese that's been cooled down. Just look at the color variance on that. Let me show you if we can cut it in half. Let me see the difference. See that? Is that better? Yep. So, we're just gonna grate that. The cheddar cheese. See if we can show you the difference. Cream cheese. Now we got some prep work to do, right? Now's where all the vegetables come in. Got that fire roasted jalapeno right there. It's gonna pack a ton of flavor. Finally dice it. We got that grilled corn on the cob. After you got all the ingredients in there, you're just gonna give it a good mix. All right, once it's done, we're gonna throw it in the refrigerator, maybe about another hour. And then when it comes out, we're going to roll it in cotilla cheese, chopped bacon, uh, crispy jalapenos and some cilantro. I think it's gonna be fantastic. Oh, probably a little sprinkle of either tahini or this too. Mm. Got a piece of bacon in the back of my throat. <clears throat> Snacking bacon. All right, roughly three to four pieces, not a big deal, but you do want to go fine. You got to think about this. 
when you dig into a cheese ball, you don't want your chip, cracker, tortilla, or something like that to break. So super fun stuff today. Those crispy jalapenos, same thing. I'm just doing this for a little crunch, a little texture difference. Last but not least, a little cotilla cheese. Good amount, maybe like a good cup's worth, something like that. And we're just gonna mix all those ingredients together just like that. All right, you're just gonna place the cheese ball in there. Just give it a good coating. You could actually take this time now to restructure it, like reshape it if you wanted to. Add more height, add more width, whatever you wanna do. There will come to a certain point where it just doesn't absorb or take on any more like uh, junk, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> coating? Yeah, there you go. Outside? Yep. But there we go, something just like that. That is a beautiful presentation for a Mexican street corn cheese ball with smoked cheese. Ha! Golly, that's not good. Look at these sticky style meatballs. Now, granted, they have been off the smoker a little bit longer than normal. Um, if you guys are going to keep these in a crock pot or keep them warm or something like that, uh, the sauce is not going to be near as thick. This is what happens when you reduce sugary substance. It will thicken up on you. But these look absolutely fantastic. I'm telling you right now, I've already sneaked one. The wife said, why don't we taste one before we even mound them up? And I was like, too late. So this is more just like classic ideas. People get around, have fun. You know, you can do your burgers, you can do your dogs. This is typically what I do when I cut them in half. The wife thought these would look cuter. So. <laughs> they do. <laughs> these look cuter. <laughs> but you kind of get the idea. Doesn't matter how you do them, just do them. I don't think anybody's gonna care as long as they come out fantastic and they should come out great. Hey guys, welcome to Pelleton Dits. Pellets and tits. <laughs> Been a long day. All right, guys, there you go. That is how you do it. Look, you got your little jalapeno showing. So I know what all this tastes like. I do not know what this tastes like. I'm going right in. So I guess you guys want to see what the inside yeah. looks like. Yeah, do it this way. It hasn't had a chance to set up that long. But you could definitely make this the day ahead. Oh, absolutely. It's nice when an idea comes together. Hell yeah. We had so many people ask us about like a refrigerated version because we have actually done a Mexican street corn smoked dip. We did that on the Flat Top King, but that video is available. And that's before we started pellets and pits. And this right here is try. almost like a Mexican version of jacked up fermented cheese that's way better. That's way better. Golly, that's good. Mm. That is good. Tortilla chips, Fritos. Oh, we gotta get some Fritos. Oh man, hey. The corn's in there. This is street corn right here. Mm. This is street corn on a cracker. <laughs> cheese ball. Ain't your mama's cheese ball. Mm -mm. If that's not a winner, that's a recipe on itself. That is a recipe by itself right there. Mm. Golly. Yeah, that, that's good. That is good. Uh-huh. I can't get over that cheese ball. That cheese ball's good. Mm. Yeah. All your friends will be asking for this recipe. Send them to pelletsandpits.com. It'll be there. We're going to make it. That's that's mm. worth that's worthy. Mm. Last but not least, I'll take the one of the jalapeno. Be careful on your smoker. You're gonna have hot and cool spots. Rotate your sheet tray if you need to. That's a little spicy. We use spicy meatballs. <laughs> I got a spicy meatball. That is one of the best cheese balls. Now, obviously the flavor profile is different than like a pecan and pineapple and stuff like that, port wine cheese. But that is legitimately probably 
going to be on the menu for like multiple times. All right, guys, there you go. Uh, honestly, just happy Memorial Day from me to you. Remember what today's about. It's about the ultimate sacrifice. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share with your friends. Peace. Mm, golly. We will have the best recipe available. You just got to give us a few days.